Welcome back out to Jan McDonald Field here on this Tuesday afternoon, February the 13th. We get ready for a non-conference doubleheader. North Greenville, homestanding Lady Crusaders, getting ready to take on the Eagles out of Jefferson City, Tennessee, of Carson Newman University. Still. So that means she left the only earned run. Well hit ball into left field. This one will drop. It's fair. And an extra base hit opportunity here for Levi. And she will reach second standing up. Kind of bobbled right there in the outfield. Before throw could ever get there. And Coffrin on the edge of disaster as it's popped up into right center field. Who's going to call for it? DeBoer on the run. Grabs that one, and North Greenville with the excellent defensive stop. Just like you said, she has a chance to finally put a run on the board. Already has a single in the game. One for two today. And well hit into center field. That's going to roll to the fence. Carson Newman a chance to score one, maybe even two. Here comes one. The throw relayed in will not be in time as Carson Newman will put two on the board. Rhinus the pitcher with a two RBI double. Game notes for this series today. All kinds of pitching awards pouring in for the Eagles staff as they will get a hit on her. And a single for Wade finally busts up the no hitter for Rhinus. Finally busts up the no hitter. That's the first hit that's gone out of the infield for North Greenville, and it took almost the entirety of five innings to do it. Yeah, so the outfielders finally get a chance to get some work in, and a two-out single for Wade extends the inning to Haley Gray as Coffrin will look to keep the deficit at two. Facing off here against Cooper, and well hit in the left field. Fair ball will roll almost to the fence. Extra base opportunity. And the leadoff double for the right fielder, Ashlyn Cooper. And a foul ball is called as Levi just barely catching a piece of it. And then appealed immediately back and says it was it hit her, gave her the base. Runners more than likely going here on the payoff pitch. From Coffrin, there they go, and it is strike three is called. And now down to the final strike, Griffin goes around, and Rhinus will strike out the side to close out game one for the Eagle win, three to nothing over North Greenville.